Pants. Hey everyone, this is Joy Pierce with RichGoldNetwork.tv. Tonight we're at the Saban Theater in Beverly Hills for the 32nd Annual Israeli Film Festival. Cannot wait to talk to all the celebrities and VIPs on the red carpet. So stay tuned and keep watching RichGoldNetwork.tv. And this is the 32nd annual Israeli Film Festival in Los Angeles. Not the big You've done a lot of work, and it's 32 years now. Oh, no, we work. We love to work. And we love to do things for other people. The minute we have this in mind, that we want to bring people together and do good for them, that's my job. So I love to do that. I love to bring filmmakers together. I love to do promotion and to promote Israel and the Israeli film industry in the United States. And I'm, uh, I'm so excited to see so many people coming. And I'm very excited, even more than the director of the festival, of the film that you're about to see, the other story. Uh, uh, yeah, Avi, Avi Nesher opened the festival that I did 35 years ago. And he wow. was in Boston. Would you believe it? Impressive. What will be the most surprising thing for an audience during this whole week of shows and films? What are, what are we expecting? Uh, we have we have uh, a long, uh, a long, uh, you know, we have like 40 films uh, in two theaters. As a matter of fact, in three theaters, we're showing also for the first time at the Scareball Cultural Center. One day, already two screenings are already sold out. I don't know why there it's sold out, you know, in other theaters it's sold out. Why people like Scareball more than movie theaters? I don't know. But good for, good for us and good for them. They are co-sponsoring this day, so I'm very happy. And I hope uh, we'll have a good festival. In the Aria Fine Art Theater in Beverly Hills, and in Encino, the Lemley Encino, uh, Town Center 5 in Encino. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to meet you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Is that beautiful? You look great. All right. It's very important to be at this amazing festival. What do you think the number one misconception that we have about Israel and the filmmaking business? Well, um, how much time do we have here for the misconception about Israel? Look, we can separate this today to two uh, issues. The misconception about Israel and the politics of it, and the perception of Israeli entertainment industry, which I think is exceptionally well at the moment. It's doing great. Um, Israel is uh, probably one of the most misunderstood countries on earth, okay? It's a very small country. People don't even understand that it's the size of, literally the size of New Jersey, surrounded by 21 somewhat hostile countries and doing its best to survive, which is something that here in the U.S. we don't really understand, right? Um, one of the most extraordinary things that had happened in recent years is the entertainment industry in Israel became so powerful and so potent. I think that people can get a glimpse into what Israel is really about through entertainment. People love stories and it's important to keep telling them. Uh, yeah, Israel is a beautiful country. It's a very small country, but it has all sorts of climate. So it's literally desert in the south and snow up north. And uh, you can utilize a lot of that, uh, the, the visuals, the, the landscape, and also the incredible talent of crews over there in a, in a relatively reasonable price. And you get a lot, um, you know, a lot more for your, uh, for your money. So in terms of productions, it's very valuable. What is the 32nd, the 32nd annual Israel? Israeli Film Festival, and I don't know how long you're going to stay, how many things you're going to see, but do you have any special films you want to see, any genres you want to explore? I was very excited about tonight's film. Uh, Avi is a very good friend of mine, I've known for many, many years, and also Maya Dagan, who's the lead in the movie, is also a friend of mine whom I've known for many, many years, so I'm very excited about tonight's film. Excellent. Before you leave the carpet, social media, so fans can follow you, find you, and stay in touch. At Noah Tishby, N-O-A-T-I-S-H-B-Y. I'm mostly on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook as well, but mostly on Instagram. Well, thank you so much. You look great. Enjoy the festival. Thanks. Thank you.